Hey lovelies! Uh, this video is going to be, I guess it's a review of two things. Henna and also Bedhead Moisture Maniac. I think I showed you guys in the video I did right before this that I had bought the Bedhead Moisture Maniac and I'll start with that. It wasn't all that great. Maybe because I was trying to use it as a deep conditioner after I did henna. I was in like a rush. I didn't have time to find a real deep conditioner. So I tried to use that in place. But didn't have a lot of slip. Um, and I didn't feel like it was a maniac for moisture. I didn't feel like it really moisturized it all that great. I feel like I'm giving so many womp womp reviews of conditioners. I really need, I need to find a good conditioner. So if you watch this and you know a conditioner that has a lot of slip that's really good, just leave a comment because I'm really trying to find a really, really, really slippery, really, really good, really, really moisturizing conditioner. I don't think that's too much to ask. As far as the henna is concerned, I'm a henna head now. I really love henna. My hair has like this really nice, you probably can't tell, it looks super shiny though, but it has like a really nice like reddish like hue to it when I go out in the sunlight. It's oily. It has a really nice reddish hue to it when I go out in the sunlight. Um, it's not shedding or breaking as much. And I've only done it twice so far. So it's not shedding and breaking as much. Um, it's very shiny. Feels a little stronger than it did before. Definitely, I think the color, the shine, the strength, um, lack the less shedding. So those are all benefits that I've experienced and I've only done it twice. So imagine if I continue to do it for a long period of time. Oh. Um, the only thing I'm a little nervous about is that most of the people that I've gone and they've talked about their experience with henna have reported significant like loosening of their curl pattern. And I really like my curl pattern. And I'm already starting to notice like in the front it's not, I don't feel like it's curling the same way it was, like, the curls look a little bit bigger, but beside them looking bigger, they look a little looser, um, and it's only two times, and they usually say you don't notice a difference in your hair until after, like, three applications, but I'm already starting to see some, like, janky stuff going on, like, <laughs> this is a two days, this is the wash, this is the wash and go, it's two days old, I did this wash and go, Cause I'm trying to, I wanted to try, I wanted to revisit Curly Girl Method and just using conditioner. And I'm never just going to just use conditioner. I've realized that about myself. I just feel like it's not going to give me enough moisture. So um, I went and I just rinsed my hair with cold water, rinsed out basically most of the product I had in it already. Um, and left in my Tresemme Naturals, which I, I really love that conditioner. Now, of all the conditioners I've used, that is probably my favorite right now, Tresemme Naturals. I feel like it does have a good amount of slip. It's very moisturizing and has a nice smell. It's thick, so I do like Tresemme Naturals. Um, but uh, so I left that in and I put my coconut hibiscus uh, shea moisture on top of that and just some oil. And it, it felt okay. It felt like it had a lot of hold in it, though. For two products that don't have any hold in them, I felt like my hair had a lot of hold in it felt kind of crunchy yesterday so I did the greenhouse effect last night and it, it definitely feels better today it feels a lot better today and the, the curls have still they've been maintained so it look it still looks decent so I noticed that after I did all of that to my hair after my wash and go my curls in the front like in the root this part was like straight this whole part in my crown this part in the front were was straight like it was just hanging like it wasn't curling like this I think these I ended up like twisting around my finger so that they would look like the rest of my curls like they were almost straight and they were just kind of hanging there and it freaked me out because normally when I do a wash and go and I have conditioner in my hair my hair coils right back up it didn't look like it didn't look the same and I'm assuming it's from the henna but anyway um but anyway back to the henna what did I do for my henna mix, I followed Curly Nikki's except for I added one other thing. Um, I steeped two cups of boiling hot of hot water. I steeped four green tea bags in two cups of boiling hot water. Um, put in my henna powder, poured in my hot water, mixed it up. I added, I didn't really measure the honey. I probably added more than two tablespoons of honey, though, just a little bit more. And I added some omelet powder. And I mixed that together. I added probably like 
four tablespoons of amla powder to my henna mix the, the last two times I've done it and it's working really well. Um, I haven't experienced a lot of difficulty rinsing it out. All of the last the two times I've done it, I left it in overnight. So by the time I woke up in the morning, it was really like soft. So I just filled up the tub and dunked my head in and shook it around and it loosened up most of it. And a lot of it came off just by doing that. A lot of it came out of my hair. And then I turned on the shower and I rinsed it with like a cheap conditioner, like with Suave Naturals. And then I just did my deep conditioner and then, you know, rinsed it out after a couple hours and did my styling. So... I've had a very wonderful experience with henna. I love henna. I will continue to use it. Hopefully it does not change the texture or the curl pattern of my hair drastically because I would not like that because I like my curl pattern. I got a neat little little zigzag, little, little deal going on. Look at those. Look at them. I like those. You know, those are my friends. You know, we get along. They do what they want to most of the time, but I like them anyway. You know, they have personality. So I don't necessarily want them to turn into waves. That would upset me. So if I if I start to notice too much texture change with the henna, I'm going to just start to do it to my roots and not all over. With the full strength henna, I'll just do to my roots and then I'll do like a henna gloss on the rest of my hair. And that's when you mix the henna with a couple cups of conditioner as opposed to just like something really acidic and you do the gloss that way so you get most of the benefits but not necessarily all the benefits so um that's pretty much it i really love henna moisture maniac not so much i hope everything's going well with you guys and your hair and if you have any questions or comments leave them below and i'll see you guys soon all right lovelies bye bye